I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model! Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! I hope those two manage to get away. No! I thought I was gonna die! Hey! Will you let go already? Oh no! I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up! Hey, you guys still alive? I thought I was gonna die and... Uh, hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> <gasps> Sorry! Not again. Oh, uh, I just remembered. There was a question on the exam that I didn't get. I think it was... The chemical formula HCHO, used for silver mirror reactions. Its 40% solution is known as formalin. And the question was, what is HCHO? Oh, I see. I chose acidic acid. Duh, of course it couldn't have been vinegar. Hey, you had that question too, didn't you, Kanji? Shut up. Don't call me by my first name. Wow, kind of harsh, aren't you? I heard you got a nosebleed when you were around our senpai. Hey! Who the hell blabbed about that? Think the snow will pile up? This is what they call a white New Year's, huh? No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Moranji. What? Moranji. Oh. Well, hey! Hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> Folklore has little valid scientific evidence but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... You're scared too? Yes.
This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Oh, so you got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm plugging my ears! Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Kanji kun, it's true that you're not good with words. But even though, or maybe because that's true, you say things more sincerely than anyone. Things you've said hit me full on in the chest, much stronger than if it had been anyone else. I think that being good or bad at speaking doesn't matter when you're trying to convey something important. It's only how strong your feelings are for that person that matters. If you're that worried about them, I'm sure that'll come across to whoever it is. Yukiko-senpai. You'll be fine, Kanji-kun. Have some more self-confidence! Chie-senpai. Right! So, does this mean you're going to confess your love? Hmm? C confess my love? To Risei-chan! To Risei-chan? What? You'd be perfect for each other. You two get along through thick and thin, and you're a pretty striking couple. Uh, instead of listing everything wrong with what you just said, let's get going for now, hmm? Wait, what? Hey, wait! Get back here, damn it! Look at that. What? Jeez. I'm with Ken. We've all seen what kind of resolve it takes to face death. That resolve, and what it brought about. There's no way we can cancel that out on our own whims. Even if it hurts, we have to deal with it and accept the present. Yukari, what about you? You're all about the here and now, right, Yukatan? I mean, you say it all the time. You gotta look forward. I... I want to go back. To the time before the last battle. When I thought about how he protected us, I kept telling myself that I have to keep looking forward. That's why I started going to cram school and spending less time goofing off. But I can't lie to myself. If there's a way for him to come back, I'll take it, no matter what. Yukari. So, you're giving up? Are you saying you don't have the strength to face reality? After all the things we've gone through, you're just gonna throw in the towel in the fight against yourself? Oh yeah, you're really one to be throwing around all those high-minded ideals. If you really thought something was that precious to you, you'd want to protect it no matter what. Don't you understand? We can go back and fix things. Are you seriously just gonna let a chance like this go? Then I'll ask you this. 
If I said I wanted to undo your father's death, would you do it? Even if there was a way to reverse Shinji and Miki's death, I'd flat out refuse. Nothing in the past was a waste. You're just making excuses. <laughs> hey, you keep mentioning death. Are you saying the person who saved you all didn't just leave? That's correct. He passed away. What? Why didn't you tell me before? Why? But you've never met him. Anyway, what do the rest of you think? I don't know. I get second thoughts when I think about going back to when Shidori died. But I definitely see what Akihiko Senpai is trying to say. When you get down to it, though, I hate to say this, but I'm just too scared to do that battle over. What's wrong with you? Are you saying you're scared to die, but it's okay if he does? That's not what I said. I mean, have you really thought this through? Going back to before that battle means we have to fight Nyx again. Did you ever think about what might happen if we lose this time? It's the same thing. Either way, all it means is that you're just scared. And you two are no better. All that talk about accepting the present is because when you get down to it, you only care about yourselves. What? How can you say that? There's no use going around and around like this. We're never going to reach an agreement. So if no one gives in, we'll have to settle this another way. 